Fed say he's a white male, 25 to 45 years old. Could be me. With a dysfunctional relationship with his mother. Still me. He has a menial, unimportant job. Definitely you. Just for that, I based my next book on Esposito. I never touched her. I had a thing for Linda, okay? I had a thing for Linda, and I parked out in front of her place. Jelly Tyson? It's Jerry Castle. Now it's Jerry. Hands in the air right now! You heard the man! Put your hands in the air and get on your knees while you're at it! You called to seek my counsel. I wouldn't say it exactly like that. No, no, no. You were hoping I had some wild theory, some sort of penetrating insight that would lead us to a breakthrough. Well, do you? No, I got nothing. He's not that handsome. You want my opinion? 300 bucks an hour? A little steep. As the person in this room that's seen everything under the sheet, well, there's one surefire way to find out. Oh, Castle. I got an A-Rod for that son of a bitch. Three years varsity ball, two years special forces triathlon, and NYPD police calendar 2007. What? It was a group photo. I got letters. Yeah, three, two of them from your mom. One of them was from my mom. I'm sure. It's the strangest pet you've ever had. You. And what does BHS stand for? Bronx High School. Big honking stereo. Boys have shoes? BHX! Sorry. So Len goes to the park and he sees for himself. And then he confronts them in a jealous rage and they kill him. They do what now? They kill him. The cheating girlfriend and the lover. What are you talking about? What, what are, are you, you talking, talking about? about? But about the Hawks, and I want this on the official record, I would never exaggerate or fabricate a bird sighting. It's unthinkable. Putting that in the official record. Okay, Castle, I'm here. What was so important? Your first clue is the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. Oh, jeez, Castle, I haven't even had my coffee yet. Thank you. Why, Detective Ryan? I never figured you for a believer. All I know is my father's cousin Raymond left this party in Jersey one night. He's driving back to Queens, and bam, blinding bright light comes down from the sky. Next thing he knows, it's morning. He's on the side of the Jersey Turnpike. Let me guess, no memory of what happened. That is not called an alien abduction. That is called a hangover. Maybe Raymond always was a lightweight in the family. Mm. And then, of course, there's the alien implant that's used to track the abductees. That reminds me of the Lego I got stuck up my nose when I was six. You what? That makes no sense whatsoever. If it's not an altitude chamber, then what could it be? Other than that. Oh, come on, Castle, they'll take to you. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So long as you don't act like yourself. Ah, oh, nice one. How to get up her nose? Well, maybe it was a piece of the altitude chamber that got lodged up there. The altitude chamber we haven't found. Yet. The altitude chamber that we haven't found yet. I mean, when this is all said and done, it will all come down to where and how she was killed. And I bet it will have nothing to do with secret agents or massive government conspiracies. I'll take that bet. I'd like my payment in small bills, please. Tell me that you've located that altitude chamber. I did. At the physics center at Hudson University. It's the only other one in five boroughs. See? It's clean. CSU just checked. I'm not asking you to dye your hair red and call me Mulder. I would simply ask that you consider the possibility that Marie had knowledge of or made contact with something up there that somehow led to her death. Castle, the truth, the real truth, is out there. Beckett. Where's Castle? Castle, did that really happen? Do 
I have a... Oh, no. Because you got it. Conducted by government agents, huh? Come on. What were you two really doing? It's not a hickey, Esposito. You both have one. I wish it was a hickey. Those hickeys? Yes. No. I wish. Please, let's just stick it in and get this over with. Whoa. What are you saying? Are you saying you think that this is real? Well, it doesn't look doctored. Okay, just for clarity, so we know later who said what, you are conceding that it is a possibility that this is an alien spaceship. What I am saying is that we now know what these agents were after. That close. We have what you want. You know where we are. You really think that's gonna work? Well, Ton Ban. Now it's but John Chan. Sui Shu Do Kyu Nong Kai Chang. Semester abroad? No, a TV show you still love. Ah, nice job. Thanks. Sign that cat! <laughs> what did he tell you that was classified? Was it about aliens? The truth about UFOs? Are you gonna tell me or just gonna make me keep guessing? I don't know, this guessing thing is kind of fun. All right, was it about what happened at Roswell? No. Area 51? No. Loch Ness Monster is real? Yeah. Really? No. Uh, they're controlling the weather. No. Our thoughts. No. Are our buying habits. Actually, speaking of buying habits. And is anything ever really the way that we remember it in grade school? Well, to be honest, beyond some baking soda volcanoes and sweaty palms, I have very little memory of it at all. You? Mine are mostly orthodontic. Braces? You mean you weren't born with that dazzling smile? Mark my words. This guy has mob ties. No mob ties. Are you sure? Good work. Oh, so an ex-gambler dumps his life savings on an ex-con, ex-bookmaker, and ends up exed out. Sounds like Donnie was late with his 150 grand for Billy Pitt, and he ended up paying for it with his life. I think I just said that. So, Castle, can I buy you a drink? My detective packet, I thought you'd never ask. What, what are you doing? I'm not gonna get much out of Brian looking like a cop. Undercover. I like it. You might want to pop one more button just in case. Oh my goodness, Castle. You were so cute back then. Back then? Um, you don't by any chance carry a liqueur. It's really delicious and it comes in this red bottle. Oh, yeah, that uh, red bottle we shared down that little cantina in Tianhao by then. Bar. Did you see that? How could I miss it? Can't you see we're together? Undercover. Don't ruin my story with your logic. So, instead of buying a drink, you're gonna buy a whole bar? It's my way of giving back. Yeah, to your ego. Tasty. You describe a 135-year-old bottle of scotch as tasty? I mean, you know, after I mixed in a little root beer. Yeah, okay, Magoo, let's see that bottle. Nobody hit anybody. Yes, we'll keep mixing root beer with fine scotch. That may change. Okay, Castle, let's go. Just... Thank you. Greatness, little uncultured pilot doesn't deserve... Did you hear what he said? Root beer? If I was 15 years younger, I'd give that kid such a pinch. Which means it can't be the only remaining bottle in the world. Clearly not. Which means I still have a shot at getting a taste. Research. I'm gonna do that too. Donnie sold his union card and bet his life savings that Bo James... Come. What are you doing? We're gonna need a light, right? Not so fast, Indy. We're also gonna need breathable air. Yeah, aside from the fact that it's... damp, cramped, dark, and we are almost certainly walking in rat poop. That's awesome. There's probably blood mixed in there, too. In case you're thinking of tasting it. Come on, not that desperate. Mm -hmm. Wow, I remember.
remember that face. It's about when I got my tattoo. You got a tattoo? Where? This is early Christmas, baby. I was not expecting this. Are you crying? Yes. I don't know what to say. Try letting me get my checkbook. Yes, of course. It's 9 o'clock on a Saturday. It's 9.15, actually. The regular crowd shuffles in. <laughs> There's an old man sitting next to me. Making Give love to his tonic and gin. He said, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. But it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete When I wore a younger man's clothes oh, Sing us a song, you're the piano man Sing us a song tonight 